I can get all the girls I want. Don't you know that? I know that, Mr. Bigelow. I stayed because you've been so good to me. It's a story about two people, Julie Jordan and Billy Bigelow. Their first scene is the scene where you see an entire relationship be created from nothing to something. Say, tell me something. Ain't you scared of me? I mean, after what that cop said about me taking money from girls? I ain't scared. Is that your name? Julie? Julie something? Julie Jordan. Like in many of the musicals, they can't quite say they love each other. And the entire process, the whole story is about coming to a point where they can actually say that. It's always, if I loved you, it's always conditional. They never really come out and say it. Julie's a complicated person because in a modern society, we all want to say, what, what in the world are you thinking, lady? Um, use your brains. You, you trying to get me to marry you? No. Then what's putting it into my head? You're different, all right. I can't I say that I've ever stepped into her You're shoes in reality. What I'm trying to do with Julie Jordan is respect the material and respect the person that they created and the role that they wrote and the love that she has and make it real and make it work. Because regardless of, of whether or not you agree with it, that was her reality, to love a man who was not easy to love. I wonder what it'd be like. <laughs> what? Nothing, I know what it'd be like. It'd be awful if I can just see myself in there, Billy needs to have a moment where he's the most open, the most vulnerable, if you will. You see a flirtatious side that's not just hot and cold like he usually is. It's either incredibly passionate and excited and full of love or incredibly passionate and excited and really angry. You never see that in between. And those little moments of in between are important for Julie because you know she needs you need to understand why she would stay with this man and why she would love him, what it is about him that that she sees that nobody else has ever had an opportunity to see.